Hello and welcome once again to another ISAHAM tutorial video. Today I'll be showing you how you can customize your layout on the M Plus platform. First, we're going to be opening the Internet Explorer because this is the only browser that supports this function. Let me just switch this to full screen. Boom. And login. It's going to take some time. Internet Explorer is not that fast. Okay, what you see here is your default platform. Look at it. Enjoy it. Okay, we can move on to actually changing this ugly layout to something a bit more presentable and informational. Click on this icon over here. This is the layout icon. You can experiment it between B, E, or J. It doesn't matter. You can change it to anything you like but I'll be taking L and as you can see here we have a lot of space to play with I just have to change a couple of things for an example the chart here we can change to group by volume and down here switch to handy info up here is a market trade monitor we'll keep that mini market index yeah I'm gonna keep that and also we have heartbeat and now that we've gotten rid of the chart here I'm gonna have to add it down here click on the second icon and click bottom now that we've set it up the platform let me explain a bit on what exactly did we change so of course first we have the buy queue and sell queue listed down below here and we're going to change this to a chart group by time chart yes there you go and over here we have the same thing as the bottom here but also we have the volume and transactions this is kind of fun for you to understand whether or not let me just pick a different share okay Wait. ah there you go so this would show how many or how much people are buying at one moment so we could say the highest percentage of people buying is at 36% and they usually buy between 100 to 299 lots. Below we have handy infos which is added information about the share, it tells about the trend, transactions, buying rate and also the average volume. Over on the right hand side we have market trade monitor, we can switch this of course to either monitor our favorites or monitor the most active between these markets. Let's just take FBM Kelsey I stocks. And it should change. There you go. I'll show a whole list there. Whenever there's gonna be any big transactions within this, they'll just pop out right here. And over here we have the index. I've had it set it to KLCI index, but you can change it to any sector you want. Let's see, what am I going to take? Let's just take property. And over here we have the heartbeat that really shows the volume and transactions within the whole market. Now, I think that's all of the time that we have for today. As you can see here, it doesn't really matter what you do. You can change it to anything you want. It's your platform and you can customize it following your own particular styles that you wish to use. I know that a lot of traders have their own styles when it comes to trading and we respect that. We're just teaching you how you can change the platform to better optimize yourself. Now, one of the good things about having the market trade monitor and everything else here is that when I switch over to anything, let's just say I'm switching to all stocks and I'm switching over to different stocks the market trade monitor will keep me up to date with anything that's going on in any sector so I can just change this to my favorites close that my favorites and well I don't have anything here right now but if I'm going through anything through all stocks or anything I can still keep up to date with anything else within the market I think that's all for today Thank you very much for watching and happy trading.